get ready to see the most beautiful lakes in the Swiss Alps which I have visited during the year. This right here is Switzerland. Even though I have been here all my life, I didn't know much about the beauty of this country. In the last months I have seen and done a lot of new things which have opened my eyes and touched my heart. Take a warm chocolate or a tea because on some spots it gets really cold, especially in the winter. When the snow falls it is said that it's freezing time, but definitely worth it. Stay here and get ready for what will be your next Alps mountain adventure in Switzerland. To get more information about the lakes, on how to reach them, what to do there, watch the certain travel vlogs about them, which will pop up every time here in the right corner. And I will also include all the links in the description so you can watch them after this video. Let's hop right into it with number 5. It is one you know very well and have maybe seen on your Instagram. It literally blowed up this year and that is the Kaumasee. The Kaumasee is one of the top talk destinations in Switzerland and with that it is said that there are a lot of tourists. The tourist boom started with the lockdown in March and it's still going on. That's why it didn't make it in my top 3 because sometimes it can be overcrowded and if you want to go to the beautiful beaches there you have to pay for them. The entrance to the how I called it in my Kaumasee vlog, the VIP area is about 18 francs. What I also didn't like was the fence which was installed around the lake and I think this destroys the amazing scenery. It was even pulled underwater but in some places you can still go down to the water. In spite of everything the lake is beautiful and the water is crystal clear. It has this magic aqua color which you have seen probably in your Instagram feed. The lake is very good reachable by public transport or by car. If you go by train and bus then your first stop will be in Hur and from there you will take the bus to Flims. The rest you can walk, it isn't that far away. If you're traveling by car then don't worry there are also parking spots. Guys if you like my videos then help me with hitting that subscribe button, being sticking around, giving that thumbs up, that helps my channel to grow, that helps me to make more videos, to make more content and to entertain you, to show you the beauty of Switzerland, like here in the video the top 5 mountain lakes in the Swiss Alps. Number 4 is located in the Bernice Oberland and it's compared to the other lakes the smallest one, I'm talking about the Blause. I like to call it the fairy tale lake, with his magical blue color and his myth it's definitely worth it to be seen by lots of people. And yes, this brings me to the point that there are a lot of people, especially during the weekends. That's why I would recommend you to go during the week. The lake is easy reachable but you have to pay for the entrance, the entry ticket is about 8 francs. If you're getting hungry or you want to drink something, there is a restaurant which offers everything you need. Number 3 is extremely underrated, the Lac du Tanné. Probably 95% of you haven't heard of before. The reason is that this place is hard to reach by public transports, so that's why you should go there by car. For example, it took me about 2.5 hours to reach the lake, the hike not included. After reaching the parking area you will have to hike for about 1 hour. So getting around even the off the beaten path kind of places is still possible here. But you really need to want this, so why should you want this? This mountain lake in the Swiss Alps is unknown and this makes it special. Probably you will be alone up there or just seeing a couple of people, not like in the other popular Alps destinations. You can enjoy the calmness over there and imagine spending winter nights in the typical Swiss mountain chalet isolated from the rest of the world. Now let's move on to number 2, which you can find in the canton of Appenzell Innerrhoden, the beautiful Seealpsee. The lake is known for being on the logo of the beer Quellfrisch and I have found the spot from where the company have their photo. I spent a couple of hours there by walking around the lake, hanging out and enjoy the nature. The hike to the lake wasn't that easy because it went up steeply and for reaching the lake you have to calculate about one and a half hour. A cable car is also there so you can easily pick the cable car if you're not in a hiking mood. By taking the train to Wasserauen you're close to the cable car station and to the hiking path. As well there is a big parking space for park your car. At least there is also a restaurant and even a hotel if you plan to spend the night there. I think the reason why someone should spend a night there are maybe the several hiking paths around the area. Now guys let us find out which lake in the Alps made it to the first place in the top 5 list. Drumroll please. 
Number one goes to the unbelievable Oshinense. I had the pleasure to go there two times, once in the winter season and once in the summer season. I think the drone shots are speaking for themselves how beautiful this lake is. In the winter it is frozen over and you can walk on the lake, while in the summer the water color gets a fantastic aqua blue and you just wanna jump into it and swim. And that is the reason why the Oshinense is my number one mountain lake in the Swiss Alps. The lake is reachable in two ways, firstly you can walk up there, the hike is around 1 hour but only in the summer recommendable and secondly by cable car, that for the winter season. The price up and down is about 22 francs, not that cheap I know, but after seeing the lake you will forget about the price. Around the lake there are more hiking paths for example if you wanna go higher and this you have to even though it is very stepply. With that it is said you need good hiking shoes. <laughs> but don't worry I hiked with Nike Air Forces and it went well. That was my top 5 list of mountain lakes in Switzerland. I really hope it helped you with your upcoming trip. And if you don't have much time to travel around Switzerland then definitely check out how to travel Switzerland in just one day. Which lake is your favorite one? Let me know in the comment section and thank you for sticking around, thank you for being here and if you're new to this channel, you just uh, found this video, then hit that subscribe button, you will see more of this content. I really hope you like it. See you in the next video guys, bye bye.